Dare I say, the best players are benders. When it comes to the ankles, most people focus on strength, stability, and mobility to a certain extent, which are all very important and you need to have. But there's one crucial element that most people don't talk about, and that's simply letting your ankles go, not trying to hold them stiff, stable, and rigid but letting them collapse and give. That's one of the keys to being an efficient and elite skater. What do we see with every single mechanic? Is by simply letting your ankles go, your movement will happen effortlessly and almost automatic. Let's start with the stride. If you just let your ankle go and collapse, your leg will automatically stride out to the side. That is if your momentum is going in the right direction. That's what we see with McDavid. Watch as he lands, his ankle completely collapses in and he has this noticeable break or articulation in his ankle, and then his stride happens automatically. We see the same thing here with McKinnon as well, and really all fast skaters. Same with the cross under. If you let your ankle go and fall to the side, your leg will automatically cross under without any effort. Check out this Hughes clip. Look how much his ankle articulates and bends in order to get this cross under motion. Lateral cuts, same thing. Collapse your ankle and get to the heel, and you'll instantly grip and cut automatically. You can simply let your ankles go. Turns, people struggling to turn. Literally let your ankles go, one to the inside, one to the outside, with a little bit of heel pressure, and you'll start turning without doing anything. And this applies to every single mechanic. Ten and twos, same thing. Look at Makar's ankles on the ten and two. Notice how they're completely turned over and bent. When I work with Jason, that's what he was constantly preaching. Try to get your cut from your ankle collapsing versus like driving. Collapse, 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 exactly. And don't get me wrong, these are all complex movements with a lot of different pieces. But the commonality is that the ankles are the first mover. They're the trigger that starts your trajectory, initiates the movement, and gets you started on the arc. Let's go back to turns as an example. These two turns are obviously not the same. But this is the precursor to this. And so once you let your ankles go, your edge catches, then you will start traveling on the arc, then you can drop your weight, twist your hips, lean, shift your weight to the outside edge, cross under, rock it to the toe, and then you get here. The problem is, most hockey players are way, way too stiff in the ankles. I know this because I was one of them. Before 2019, my ankles were so stiff and rigid and I really struggled until I realized this. And so when your ankles are stiff, every movement becomes so much harder because you're essentially fighting your ankles with every stride and every movement. Take a look at Matt doing soft drags for the first time. Matt is a good experienced player, but as you can see, he's holding his ankles so stiff and his inability to let them go is making the movement almost impossible. When he learns to let his ankles go and articulate, he'll get on that arc and he'll have an effective and effortless soft drag. Just like we see with McDavid. I mean, look at the position of his ankle here. Notice how bent over and articulated it is. And so being able to collapse your ankles both ways with control not only makes you more efficient skater by initiating your movement, your lean, giving you grip and letting go of any excess tension in your calves causing fatigue, but it also gives you way, way more control over your movement because you can make micro adjustments with your ankles to change directions without having to make massive weight shifts or get super wide. Matt was very good at making lateral weight shifts when he could use his entire body, but not so much at making precise and minor changes because his ankles simply wouldn't let him. And so the best players leverage and use their ability to bend their ankles as an asset with complete control. And so try it out and see what happens. It may feel weird at first, but stick with it. And don't be afraid to bend your ankles. It's okay to let go. That's what these modern skates were designed for. They provide the stiffness and stability so you don't have to. To get started, I recommend stationary edge rolls to really feel how your ankles can bend side to side. And then do some contrast with each mechanic. Hold your ankles stiff and rigid and let them go and let your body go with them. You should also see a nice break or articulation in your ankles when you're doing these contrast drills. Experiment with going down an eyelet or loosening up your skates in order to feel what your ankles are capable of. And so I hope this video shed some light on how the ankles are supposed to move and to show you to not be afraid to be a bender, but embrace it. It is a key factor in becoming a more efficient, a better skater, and improving your overall performance on the ice.
And it goes without saying, you are not always bending your ankles, but way, way more than you think. And you have to consider all other pillars in combination as everything works together, especially heel pressure and shin angle. And so thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, check this one out. I think you'll like it too. And don't forget to like and comment so we can get it out to more people. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.